In the previous video we looked how those sensors worked and what kind of input they generated. And in this video we can uh, convert that input to temperature. So this is the schedule. We receive an input from the sensor to pin A0. But what if we disconnect the signal cable and put the 5 voltages in there? So we have a 5 voltage on the rail and we put back the 5 voltage inside the Arduino. In if you do this, do it carefully and don't fright your Arduino. But we're just curious what kind of value the, this, the A0 pin will read. If I put the 5 voltage on the input, I get a value of 1023. So our maximal, maximum value is 1023. So let's do the same with the ground. Look what our minimum value is. You see I disconnected the ground and put it inside the A0 and I get a, a value of 0. So our maximum value is 1023 and our minimum value is 0. So what else do we know? For the last 30 minutes my room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. From the sensor a value of around 560. So I know that 560 is 20 degrees, as you can see in the in the monitor. I, I searched uh, for specifications for the NTC, and I found out that it measures temperatures between minus 55 and 125 Celsius. 55 degrees below zero and 125 degrees give me 180 options. When we made uh, the shortcut on the Arduino, we saw that we had on the 5 volt input, we had 1023 options. And when we connect the ground on it, we had one option, because in the computer zero is an option as well. So together we have 1024 options. So if we visualize all the information we have in our graphic, we have something like this. On this side we have uh, zero voltage and zero, in zero sensor input and over here we have 5 voltage and a value of 1024. Over here we have uh, a zero options or minus 55 degrees with a uh, upstairs 125 degrees Celsius and 180 options. Over here we know that uh, 560 sensor inputs is 20 degrees and above this line, the pink line, is, this is not our area of interest above 35 degrees. If the temperature rise above 35 degrees the Arduino commands something like option void air colon and if the temperature comes below 10 degrees it uh, the, the heater on. So where we worry about is this area, the box inside inside the orange box. That's the line we want to map inside our software. So if we divide these 124 options with these 108 then we get a value of 5.5. So we can say 1 degree Celsius is equal to 5.5 sensor inputs. And then it looks uh, something similar like this. So 20 degrees is our fixed point, which is uh, the 560 sensor points. And we know that every 2 degrees is 11 sensor inputs. So when the sensor input increase the temperature decrease. This sketch is actually not very neat. I made it in paint. I'm just a kid playing around. If you know better software for this please let me know. And this is how I uh, modified it in the code. It's the same code as from the previous video. Uh, I set up a float value of zero and a fixed temperature of 20. And a fixed input of 560 and a fixed degree value of 5.1. And inside the loop, we have our, the same if statements, only now I change them 
to uh, fix the input. So if it is bigger than 560, then it sets the float i to the difference and it divides it by one degree and then it in this case of when it was called it uh, increase so in in that case it's minus and in the other case it decreases it so and we have to plus it up uh, i will i put uh, those comments in there i use them for debugging download the code and I look at it it's not complicated at all it's very straightforward and on the end because we uh, mix up our fixed temperature we have set it back to 20 so it's bad programming to use our fixed value to change our fixed value anyway please watch uh, part 3 because I have to tell you something about NTC uh, uh, transistors and this is how it looks like in the in the monitor you see uh, it's uh, almost 20 degrees and if I blow on the sensor it's increasing and dropping so those resistors are very sensitive thanks for watching